What's going on everyone? Ash here and you're watching another off-brand air cool video where I'm at Disneyland Paris. Of course, where else would I be? And I'm showing you the top five, top five exclusive attractions to see at Disneyland Paris. Let's go. Exclusive of Disneyland Paris is what you see behind me, Bistro Chez Romy, which is the restaurant attached to the Ratatouille ride here at Disneyland Paris. Now, of course, um, the Ratatouille ride isn't exclusive anymore to Disneyland Paris, as you can now find it in the French Pavilion at Epcot at Walt Disney World. However, uh, the restaurant they don't have, and it's still um, an exclusive to Disneyland Paris at the moment. It's a great restaurant where you are uh, shrunk to the size of a rat almost. That's the impression that it gives you with the uh, over <laughs> height of decor inside. Another exclusive of Disneyland Paris is Crush's Coaster, where it is a roller coaster where you are sat on top of a sea turtle shell and then you're taking for a thrilling ride. Uh, across what is supposed to be uh, the Western Australian barrier. It's amazing, it's great, <laughs> it's always a lot of fun. It is quite thrilling um, and there's always uh, long lines to get in just because of how popular it is and there isn't anything like that in another Disney park. Uh, so popular that there's even a app, a game app called Crush's Coaster where you go onto the uh, app and play the game while you're waiting in line just because <laughs> <laughs> if you're constantly wanting to go to that ride, um, then you're going to be waiting a ride. This is why I recommend people to go straight um, to the ride um, during extra magic hours. But yeah, great, great attraction and a wonderful exclusive of Disneyland Paris. Another exclusive here at Disneyland Paris is Natania the Dragon, which is a town on the dragon where the dragon resides underneath the castle here at Disneyland Paris. Um, it's supposed to mimic a waking dragon, so um, when uh, the dragon is asleep then wakes from the slumber and then starts to uh, breathe, well, not fire, because <laughs> that doesn't happen, but of course wakes up and it's a great attraction. It uh, was the main inspiration from the one that they had in Tokyo Disneyland which they did the Cinderella Mystery Tour um, and very similar to that. Uh, that doesn't obviously happen anymore but uh, of course you can still see the dragon here at Disneyland Paris. A misconception is that it's Maleficent's dragon which that is not the case, it's not Maleficent's dragon at all. The story behind it is that Merlin actually gave permission for someone to reside under uh, who was a magician and then became a dragon and that's why they're underneath the castle. Um, yeah, pretty interesting story, but yeah, uh, that is uh, Netanyahu the Dragon in Disneyland Paris, a great exclusive, make sure you check it out. Another exclusive here at Disneyland Paris is Phantom Manor, of course. Now yeah, it is a rendition of uh, the Haunted Mansion, but the Phantom Manor is its only kind in a Disney park, which makes this exclusive to Disneyland Paris. And Tony Baxter said that when making Phantom Manor, they couldn't do the normal regular mansion exterior outside and then it's spooky inside because it wouldn't translate to the many European guests that would be coming to Disneyland Paris so they had to make it look derelict people would come and say what does that mean and to translate that to all of those different languages would have been a pain making it look derelict is the way to go it is absolutely amazing I love the outline of it I like the the cemetery I love all the aesthetics of Phantom Manor is such a great, great attraction. Um, yeah, and I'm glad that it's exclusive at Disneyland Paris. Another exclusive of Disneyland Paris is, of course, Discovery Arcade and Liberty Arcade. Um, now, when Disneyland Paris was being made, uh, a idea was to not have <laughs> Main Street out in the open at all. In fact, they wanted to make it similar to Tokyo, where it would be, uh, you know, a roof. There would be a roof over it. Uh, thankfully, they <laughs> went away from that idea when they realised that Parisians and Europeans in general like to have. Uh, their meal or their lunch outside um, and also it would have been difficult to get the floats going through Main Street with it so they scrapped the idea and uh, they made Main Street out in the open. Now with that 
No, they still had a problem on dealing with inclement weather in Paris because it can go cold, especially in winter seasons, and it can rain from time to time as well. So what they did, they had an idea, oversaw by Eddie Soto, to make two arcades at each side of Main Street where guests could walk through and the flow could be a lot more easier, especially in busy periods um, during high season and uh, parade time and after the fireworks. And I'm so glad they did because it is literally one of my favorite areas of the park. Seriously, it's such a genius idea. And I'm so glad that that's an exclusive of Disneyland Paris. And there we are. That's the top five exclusive things to do at Disneyland Paris. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.